think a lot of us feel like we're just kind of stuck. Like somewhere along the lines, we lost the script to our lives and we have no idea how to rewrite it or get ourselves off of this hamster wheel. And even when we do, we feel like we're too tired or unmotivated to actually be able to make the types of changes that we think it's going to take to be able to pull ourselves out of this hole. I completely get it because I have gone through this multiple times in my life and it took me years to figure out realistic and low effort strategies that can make a difference when we are going through this because I learned from experience that sometimes when we get to this point, that really is all we can handle. So today I want to share three extremely simple things that we can do that can genuinely transform our lives no matter how mentally exhausted or uninspired we are feeling right now. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the first thing is really the only one that we may have to kind of push ourselves to do a little bit, but hear me out because it is not bad at all. And all it is is to just keep one daily promise to yourself that has to do with pulling your life back into the direction that you want it to be going. So let me explain what I mean by that. We are going to zero in on one singular aspect of our life that we really want to change. And it doesn't even have to be the most important thing or the most pressing issue, but something that we personally really feel like we want to transform. And then we are going to commit to taking one small step towards reaching that goal every single day. This is going to become a promise that we make to ourselves and it has to be one clearly defined action. So for example, if the change that we want to make in our life has to do with our physical health, maybe we could promise ourselves that we're going to start eating a piece of fruit every day or drinking a certain amount of water or committing to doing at least 10 minutes of yoga every day before work. Do keep in mind, however, that it's essential that the goal is both specific and realistic and something that we're going to be able to keep up with for as long as it takes until whatever we decided on becomes an actual habit. But that's it, just pick one singular thing. And I know it seems like doing just one singular thing wouldn't be enough to make any kind of meaningful change in our life, but it is actually surprisingly effective and there is a lot of science to back it. And one of the biggest reasons why is that for most of us, when we decide that we want to change our lives, we don't give ourselves small manageable steps to follow. We give ourselves this huge laundry list of expectations that are completely overwhelming and unrealistic and so of course we feel like a failure. Of course we feel hopeless when we can't live up to these expectations in two seconds because nobody could. And it's usually not that the goals themselves are unobtainable, they almost always are, but not in the way we are expecting ourselves to obtain them. Real change does not happen overnight. In fact, most studies show that it takes about 66 days to form a new habit. And most of us do not have the mental bandwidth to even try to form more than one habit at once. In fact, in many cases, it can actually be counterproductive. So for now, just pick the one and you are going to start to see some amazing things happen in your life. Firstly, whenever we start Start to take even the smallest step in the right direction, we immediately begin to see this positive ripple effect. It's like all of a sudden we snap out of victim mentality and we remember that we are in control and we see our whole perspective changing. And something that I've always noticed when I make this type of commitment to myself is how quickly my confidence comes back and my motivation. It's like this miraculous thing that starts happening immediately but we do have to have follow through. We have to make sure that we are keeping our promise to ourselves even when we don't feel like it. Eventually, this little upgrade is going to become a habit that we don't have to think about, that doesn't really require any effort anymore, and we can start building on it. We can start tackling new habits. With time, we start to feel like a new person and more and more changes seem possible because we see that we do actually have the ability to turn our life around. And like I said, this is really the only step that requires some degree of effort. The other two things on the list are just kind of fun. So let's go ahead and talk about those. 
So the next thing that can make a huge difference is something that I call the daily delight. And the goal of this one is to simply remind ourselves that there are still enjoyable aspects to life, which is easy to forget when we're never actually doing enjoyable things, which sadly is the case for many of us. So to fix that going forward, we are going to commit to doing at least one inspiring thing that makes us feel alive every single day. And at the beginning, we're probably going to have to plan this activity in advance to make sure that it actually happens because we are not in the practice of doing things that we actually enjoy. And so we're going to have to build it into our schedule. And of course, it's going to differ from person to person, but think of something that you could do that day that would genuinely delight you and then make that activity a priority in your day without guilt. Start thinking of it as your daily therapy. Maybe for you, it's cozying up with your favorite book and a hot cup of tea, or just spending time enjoying a special hobby, or stopping by that intriguing little antique store that you always wanted to go to. For me lately, it's been walking in nature. I'm a huge nature person and I'm a huge autumn person. And now that I can see that the season is starting to change, I have committed to getting out every single evening for a walk and just noticing the leaves and really soaking in the season. Sometimes it really is the tiniest thing that ends up pulling our life completely back on script and reminding us what is truly important to us. Now I do have to say here that it is important that we are actually selecting activities that really do delight us and that we're not just using this time to scroll on our phone or watch Netflix or engage in any of the behaviors that really led to us not enjoying our life that much in the first place. So if that means we need to sit down and actually brainstorm a list of activities that we would enjoy, then go ahead and do that. Something that I like to do is the night before when I am falling asleep, I think of some things that I could do the next day and then I pick one and I put it on my to-do list in the morning. Now, if something spontaneous comes up, that's even better, go with that. But this way we always have a backup plan. And lastly, we need to start planning something amazing that we can look forward to at least once a month, ideally more often, but work with the time you have. So here we want to go beyond the daily delight. We want to actually create something that we can anticipate, something that excites us and gives us a reason to kind of push through those tough days. Maybe it could be something like going camping or meeting up with a friend or a loved one that you haven't seen in a while or taking a cooking class or going to see a movie or a musical or even just an evening of checking out some of the local food trucks. These experiences are like medicine to us. The truth of the matter is by incorporating these three elements into our life, we're not just making changes, we are rewiring our brain. Believe it or not, these small easy steps really do lead to a significant shift in our mindset and overall well-being and eventually lead to extraordinary transformations. So if this is something that you are going through right now, I want you to know that you are not alone and that you do have the power to change your life. I know it doesn't always feel that way, but this is a very, very manageable way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and link down a few more videos that I think may also be helpful. You can find them in the description box. I wanna thank you so much for being here today and I will see you in the next video.